Hello everyone, I'm Kyle Tutt with Pinata, and we are the easiest way to use IPFS. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to spin up your own dedicated gateway on Pinata. This allows you to view content extremely fast on IPFS and provides you a way to have your own uh, naming or branding on your gateway itself. If you're unfamiliar, the majority of people that access IPFS do it through what's called an IPFS gateway. IPFS gateways allow you to serve content uh, or to view content if you aren't running an IPFS node. If you've used the IPFS network before, the majority of you have probably viewed content through a gateway such as IPFS.io or possibly even our own gateway such as gateway.pinata.cloud. Now, the problem with these gateways is that they're actually open or public gateways. This means that anybody can uh, pull content from the gateways. And so the problem that this causes is that you are actually competing against everybody else out there that's using the gateway itself. And so this can cause some delays or slowness uh, with the public or open gateways. And so what we've created is a way to spin up your own dedicated gateway that is just for you. This means that it's only going to serve content that you have pinned and that you want to serve. So you can see here with kyletut.com, I have my own gateway that is serving my own content. Uh, through that gateway. So let's jump into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go over to pinata.cloud and sign up for account if you haven't. Once you're in pinata.cloud, go over to the left sidebar here and you are going to click on pinata gateway. Uh, once you do that, you're going to click on create gateway. Now, uh, to get a gateway, you are going to have to upgrade to the professional plan if you haven't already. But once you've done that, you will see a screen that looks like this. And so what you're going to be able to do is then uh, give your gateway a name. So I'm going to call my gateway 507 Proxima. Uh, and if you've watched my videos before, 507 Proxima is our uh, metaverse headquarters in CryptoVoxels, if you want to go check that out at some point. Uh, so once you type in the name, you're going to search uh, to see if that name is available. And so what you're actually going to get is a subdomain of 507proxima.mypinata.cloud. Uh, that's what you're going to get first. So once you do that, click Next. And then it's going to ask you about access. So you can choose whether or not you want your gateway to pull content from the whole IPFS network or just the content that you have pinned on Pinata. Um, so we, by default, always restrict the gateway. Uh, when you're spinning up your own dedicated gateway so that you're not getting people pulling content from your gateway that you don't want to uh, or pulling content you don't want to. Uh, this keeps down on bandwidth costs and, and things like that and ensures that your gateway is going to be fast and performant um, regardless. So uh, we would recommend or I would recommend at least starting off with a, the restricted gateway. So once you've done that you can click create and it has created our gateway. And so you can see here that we now have a 507proxima.mypinata.cloud gateway that is uh, set up with access of restricted and the day that it was created. Now you'll see that we have a little yellow dot here. Um, and so this means that your gateway is still being spun up and created. Uh, once that dot turns green, uh, your gateway is actually available. All right, so after a couple minutes, the indicator will turn green. That obviously indicates that your gateway is ready to go. So to show you that, I'm going to jump over here to the <clears throat> pin manager, and then we will click on a file, and then you will see the gateway will serve its content. Um, and so you can see that it's 507proxima.mypinata.cloud, and then the IPFS CID. Now what we're going to do is go back over to the Pinata gateway tab, and we are going to uh, actually give it a custom domain. So instead of having to have mypinata.cloud, we're just going to make it 507proxima.com. Uh, so to do that, what you have to do is click on these three little dots and then add custom domain. Once you do that, type in the domain that you want to add to the gateway. And add custom domain. So once that takes place, uh, the check DNS configuration indicator is going to show up. And so what you're going to have to do is then um, take your CNAME and go 
put this into whatever um, your domain registrar is. And so uh, that process is going to be different depending on who your domain is from, um, but just rely on their documentation to insert your CNAME uh, and update your records appropriately. So what I'm going to do is actually copy this and then I'm going to head over to my uh, domain registrar to uh, update the DNS records and I will be back shortly. Okay, so once you've updated your CNAME DNS records uh, with your domain registrar uh, and it propagates, you will then see that eventually it will say DNS is configured with this check mark right here. And you will also see that uh, the domain has updated from 507proxima.mypinata.cloud to the custom domain of 507proxima.com. So at this point, you can see that our gateway is set up and ready to go. So to show this to you, I'm gonna jump over to the pin manager, and then I'm going to click on this dedicated gateway file that we have under this account. And I'll click on it, <clears throat> and you will see that we now have 507proxima.com slash IPFS slash the CID of the file. And so this is the gateway with its custom domain uh, and with restricted access. So the cool thing about this is that it will only serve content from your account. So with this one, I only have one file in my account, and so it actually can only serve uh, it can only serve this file at this point. If I add more files, then it can serve those, uh, so on and so forth. Um, to show this, I'm actually jumping over to kyletut.com slash IPFS slash this CID, and I'm going to grab this um, because this is a different account. The kyletut.com gateway is under a different account, and I'm going to um, actually swap it out and show to you that uh, that it's not found, so it won't serve it because it's coming from a different account, which is really great. Um, the other things to think about is uh, you can also, and under the pin manager, you can select which gateway you want to use. So right now we have gateway.pinata.cloud, and we have 507proxima.com. If you want to serve it from the gateway.pinata.cloud or the 507, you can pick and choose uh, which one you want to serve from. Now this is really great when you actually create another gateway. So you can create as many gateways as you want. <clears throat> and you just spin them up and go from there. The other thing to note is with the professional plan, you get 100 gigabytes of bandwidth free to serve content. And then anything after that is five cents per gigabyte. And so we're super excited to see um, what all of you end up doing with, with this feature to be able to serve content, whether that's something as simple as an image uh, like this, or it's a, you know, an NFT file, it's a video file, it's an audio file, 3D files, whatever you want to serve, you're able to, with our Pinata dedicated gateways, serve it with your own custom domain uh, and your own branding, and you can ensure it's fast uh, and quick for people to access. So, like I said, can't wait to see what everybody does with it, and thanks for watching.